Oh my god, friends. I was just walking here because I want to repair Sonia's boots. They are here inside of this bag. And I saw a car of my dream. It's in front of the panorama. Do you see it? Such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Super. There were such nice men inside of that car. And they, they said that they needed to wave to me. They should have waved to me. And <laughs> I felt so shy, but it was still so, so nice. Such a funny situation. Because it's always nice when people are not afraid of being filmed. And when they smile to you. And by the way, now I'm passing by the uh, Pavlov's house. And I'm going to make a big informative video about it but now I just want to show you something I hope that you can see all these flowers they were left here on the 2nd of February and if you remember it was the day of the victory in the Stalingrad battle and it was a really important date it was one of the main turning points during the Second World War and here you can see lots of flowers after the celebrations this year there were not many events here during the celebrations I think that several years ago the celebrations were better and I was very ill that is why it was hard for me to film and to go somewhere well you can see such a thing it is in Russian and in English. You just can uh, try to scan this thing with your mobile phone. And then you will see a website about the Pavlov's house. So now I'm going to make two spoilers. The first spoiler is that the Pavlov's house is situated right in front of the panorama, but people often think that that thing, that meal, is the Pavlov's house, but it's not right. The Pavlov's house is this building, this one. This beautiful building and now it's just a house, a simple house, an, apart an apartment block building. And people live here. Just ordinary people live here. They live their everyday life in this house, on this place. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, while I was filming this building. I saw some people filming me, <laughs> filming it, wow, and they were from television, if I'm not mistaken, maybe not our vulgar television, but some other ch channel, well, and now I wanted to tell you that there will be a video, a big informative and good video about this important place, but not now, today I just decided to film a random video to share some of my thoughts with you, my plans, ideas, and it is hard to do it here on the streets because I want to show you so many places, so many things. All the surroundings are constantly interrupting me.
by the way, even though I'm wearing such a big long scarf and hat, it's, it's so warm. <laughs> it's even hot here outside and I feel hot, but <laughs> you know, I still clothe like it's, still, it's winter because it's really winter, it's just February, it's not spring and the spring hasn't come yet. That is why I'm trying to wear my winter clothes and I often feel hot nowadays because it's not normal at all. I think that I'll repeat this phrase one million times today because I'm impressed and I'm angry about it. Where is our snow? Where is our winter? It's so strange. <laughs> this lovely woman said that all her dog is constantly dirty and I understand her I understand her very well <laughs> I came here to this place I'm going to repair Sinus boots here and there are still some New Year's decorations here New Year's decorations and such a lovely warm day. And this is the spring Lenin, the back of the spring Lenin. I think that it looks like spring. There are people walking around, children playing. This man is playing with his son. It looks so nice. And this Lenin is standing here looking at all this. I think that he feels the coming of spring, the, the first spring air. It is the Lenin Square and it is situated in front of the Pavlov's house. Here behind these trees you can see the Pavlov's house and there is something written here. В 1905 годах на бывшей Никольской площади Ныне на площади Ленина царицынские рабочие солдаты под руководством большевиков проводили митинги и собрания. Вау, это из... There is some information about the revolution in 1917. It is not dedicated to the Second World War. It is a very communist place. And I'm going to sit there and to talk to you, my friends. Let's go. And as you can see, this wall is 
a part of the monument dedicated to the Great Patriotic War, the Second World War. And this wall is actually a part of the Pavlov's house. It is that very part that looks uh, looks to this square. And if you, oh, I'm I'm not supposed to show you because I don't want to step onto this green grass. But if you can see, it is really the part of the building, the part of this house. And it looks tremendous, very beautiful. It is the part of the whole building of one house connected with two other houses. But I'm going to show you all this beauty a bit later, so be patient. Don't forget to subscribe, to press the bell and to wait for some time because in spring these places are especially beautiful and there is so much information about them that's why I need to be prepared better and I need to try to do my best because it's very important to me and this is this, the Lenin Square, the Square of Lenin, the Square of Lenin, the Pavlov's house, and back, and there, there, there is a metro tram station, the Square of Lenin, that is why it's very convenient, you can come here, you can visit this place, you can have a look at all these beauties at this monument and then you can go to the panorama and to the embankment and this dirty snow is the only thing that reminds us that it's still winter it's not spring but I don't even want to look at it because for me it's already spring I'm waiting for flowers do you hear it? I can hear the birds singing. <laughs> it really looks like spring. I'm already tired of repeating it, but still, we're all extremely impressed. And I don't remember any other year like this. Something crazy. The global warming, new viruses, and so on. I'm sure that you know what I'm speaking about. Well, let's start this video <laughs> let's finally start this video my dear friends i wanted just to talk to you to tell you about some updates here on our channel tomorrow we are leaving volgograd and we are going to moscow because sunny is going to take part in several competitions in moscow and we are going to have a short trip there just to to walk to have some fun and of course to support him because these competitions are going to be the first ones like this for him mm, not these competitions are the first not here in our region but the competitions for the whole Russia and I think that it's very important because wow well, it's a new level and it's very important for him and it's very important for us we want to support him we want to have some photos videos about these events and i want to take you with us of course and i want to upload new videos about these events about these competitions because i'm sure that in some years these videos can become extremely important for all us and maybe the whole country I don't know but I hope that maybe one day Sanya will become a part of the national team it is his dream and I believe in him I believe in him very much he's a very hard working boy and I'm sure that he can succeed in it and maybe when he does when he becomes the part of the national team these videos become very important for the history of the Russian sport. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> dreams, dreams. But as I've already told you, or maybe not, <laughs> but I like to repeat that we need to dream big because every dream can become true when we dream and when we do something for this dream. So let's dream big. I don't know where to look when I'm filming on my phone. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm sorry for the absence of the eye contact with me because I don't know where I should look here or maybe well let's return back to our video I'm very sorry but next week there will be no videos for you because I haven't prepared anything in advance as always because it's me and because Nina Nina got ill and it was very unexpected for me because no wow I didn't plan this and it was almost a tragedy for our family and for me because I don't want Sanya to get ill too and it was very hard for me that is why we needed to change our plans oh, this, this scarf, this hair we needed to change our plans and I didn't manage to do lots of things that I wanted to do and I'm very sorry for this maybe I'll try to upload any short video for you in advance maybe one or maybe two I'll try I promise but still support me please and wait for some time I promise lots of very interesting videos about our adventures in Moscow soon I'm going to film every day and I think that it's very interesting to watch provincial Russians visiting Moscow well and I think that it's high time to finish my video because I can see that I've been speaking for already five minutes <laughs> and I don't want this video to be enormously long oh and I already have a running nose even though it's not cold at all maybe it's because of the wind thank you very much for watching Thank you very much for supporting us and I hope that we will have a wonderful trip to Moscow and that we will bring back some medals and some very interesting good videos. Don't forget to hit the bell and to leave us some comments, likes as always. I appreciate it very much and I love you my friends. I love you very much. You are my supporters, my friends, my super team. See you very soon. Have a wonderful week without us. Don't forget about us. And see you very, very soon, my friends.